everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley Lanise and I blend motivation with spirituality so that you can get the best benefit out of it. Today's video is about know that when you are at your weakest state, you are building the tools to become your strongest. Let's get started. When you study confidence, you study charisma, you study motivation, you study spirituality, what you will truly come to find when you dig that deep into all of these topics is the connection between weak and strong, the connection between yin and yang. And the crazy thing is, is reflect back on a moment where you thought you were being weak, right? And do that in a grounded state so that you don't re-traumatize yourself, but just think about it for a second and think about how you call this your weakest state. But I have some questions for you. When you were there in your weakest state, think about how you built yourself up. Do you really feel like it was your weakest state? Because if that's the foundation that you built your strongest self on, then how can it possibly be your weakest state? I would like to stretch your mind to get you to think about how weakness is just called weakness because it's like going to the gym and working out a muscle. When you first go, you know, you don't have any muscle mass really, just whatever you had maybe the last time you went to the gym, but think about weakness as just a foundational starting point rather than this thing to demonize and belittle. Weakness is strength, but strength can also become a weakness. Everything has a scale and a spectrum. So weakness is just the starting point that led you to your strengths. When you're there in your weakest moments and when you're in your weakest moments, the next time it comes around because it comes around around, life presents us obstacles, there's no getting out of that. What I want you to take in your motivational and spiritual toolkit is that when you're in your weak state, this is a moment that will springboard you into massive growth. There's nowhere to go but up when you're at your weakest state. It's just a foundational block that can actually propel you into such stronger vibrational currents. Sometimes when you're at your weakest point, depending on the situation and the circumstance, because I know there's so many circumstances, but let's say you failed at something. You feel like this is the weakest state for you in your circumstance that you're going through. You could be happy that you've hit this rock bottom and that you can then transcend to the top. Let the obstacles in your life lift you up and find meaning in them. Let them be the reason why you go for your goals and dreams instead of keeping you down or dragging you down. When life is hard and you're hanging your head down low, I want you to know that your weak moments level you up to stronger ones. Make the decision to rise your head up because you have faith that you will persist, that you will keep going, that you will get stronger, that that is the only option for you because you believe in the power of hope. Even if you don't fully believe in it, false motivation becomes real motivation because when you think about it so much and your brain is drilling in those new neuro networks, there comes a moment where it just clicks. It might feel like false motivation because what you step out of your comfort zone to do, it might feel like it's not real. It might feel uncomfortable, but eventually all habits become comfortable after a while. New habits are harder to form. And then once new habits go into habits you've already performed over and over, what's gonna happen is that confidence is gonna build and build and build and it's gonna become real in the long run. Know that friction and obstacles is how you grow in life. Push yourself harder than you thought possible. You are way stronger than you ever even imagined you could be. And I am here to tell you that in case nobody has. Your weaknesses 
are why you are strong. So what I want to end this video with is to tell you, thank your weaknesses. Thank your weak self. Thank your weak moments. Thank that bottom level version of you. Send yourself thank you. Stop neglecting your weak self and stop neglecting yourself in general. Thank yourself for all the strength that you have garnered and thank yourself for the new levels that you will reach as life goes on. That is all that I have for you guys today. If you gained anything from this, give this a like so more people can find it. Subscribe if you love motivational content. I have tons of it. Thank you so much much for watching this video all the way until the end and I will see you in the next one.